cut the tail off the slaughter household. It's <laughs> oh, we don't even really eat much meat, to be honest, do we? So it must be easier for you to change then? Yeah. So that's, this is where, no, this is, no, this is where... You don't eat much already, you can just kick that, eh? Why don't you show this thing? Start with your species, innit? Start with people first. Oh, my God. They don't know. So if they don't know, it's OK to kill? Do you know what this is? Yeah. This is a gas chamber. It's for pigs. Where is it? They have these in the UK. 60% of the, the mother pigs in the UK are housed in these crates. They're culling off the piglets there, chop their tails off so they don't bite their tails and that in confinement. Well, they think that it prevents tail biting, so they just cut it off to prevent it, basically. So they've they got less to worry about, really. Cut their tail off the slaughter household. Cut his tail off. Yeah. Give him some karma. Do you know what I mean by tail? <laughs> this is our dairy industry, they inseminate the cows. Oh my god. They take the calves so the calves can't take the milk, so they can sell the milk to humans. When he was younger, this person would tell you, give them cow's milk. Yeah. As soon as they pass the year, they tell you that. give them cow's milk, do this. So everybody's kind of... Programmed. So, yeah, you know how it goes. Yeah, it's but you can break free from that, eh? Yeah, of course you can individually, but... Yeah, you, yourself. I push for individual change, because I think the power is with the individuals. The only reason these places exist is because the public here create the demand for the products. I've seen you on social media. Hey, you brother. Do, you do a good job, mate. Thanks, brother. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Yeah, so we talk to the public and tell them, if you don't like what you see, stop giving them the money. I don't eat meat anyway. Oh. Yeah, we don't eat dairy or eggs either, because these are often from the dairy industry, so the dairy industry do the same thing that the meat industry does. It's a calf in a bin, dead, at a dairy farm. Do you eat these animals? Yeah. Yeah. So we're asking people not to, basically. My friend, it's not as bad as, you know, these things you see on uh, Brazil, Venezuela. Cartels. Why, why don't you show this thing? Oh, cartels who do this to, to people. Yeah. Because, uh, because you don't pay for cartels to chop fingers off, but sh the consumer here pays for these animals to no, be chopped up. for drugs. Yeah. You don't take yeah. drugs, do you? No. Most people here... They're against animals being killed, but they also pay for it. Yeah, right, right. It's not nice. But start with your species, innit? Start, start with people first. Why can't we do both? Priority. Because most people here don't kill people. Way more murders happening in this industry. Yeah. And everyone supports it. Everyone can agree that cartels killing people is wrong. But everyone here is eating the, these victims. I feel in, in, in the UK, people care about animals. They care about them, but then these places only exist because of the public. Oh. People keep buying it, they keep supplying it, and the animals keep getting killed. But until everybody starts doing it, it's going to be a nightmare, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I don't wait for everyone to do yeah. things, eh? The like problem is, I don't see the point. Like I said, it's just too much of it going on. When back in the day, 70,000 years ago or whatever, you'd have your own, you, yourself, your family would have your own stuff. Whereas now, they're providing for the masses which is what's causing the problem. Yeah, but, you know, how many animals go to the slaughterhouse just for you each year? Yeah, exactly. It's, so you can stop the, that. That's the problem, though. Everybody's doing it. It's never going to stop, is it? If we thought that about every single injustice in history, we'd never try to change it, would we? Yeah, that's true. Halal. What do they do? They kill them in a nice way. No? Do you think it's a good way to kill someone? Euthanize. So if uh, the cartel euthanize people, that's OK? But they don't know. They don't know? No. So if they don't know, it's OK to kill? Yeah. OK, if someone doesn't know, if a human doesn't know, it's OK to kill a human? No. Why? What's the difference? One standard for us, different standards for them. Double standard. They don't want to die just like I don't want to die. Many, many years ago, where there was all these factories creating these animals to then feed the masses. Whereas if you were somewhere and you were out looking for your food, I'd see that as a bit different. I know the value of the animal is still the same. I get that. But the way that they produce everything now... Yeah, it's, it's worse. It's, it's, it's worse, but I still, I still don't think, like, the good way. Yeah, you, there is no good way, but you understand that. So yeah, even like, know, well, I mean, saying. I could walk up to this guy, he looks like he's happy, free-ranging, he's smiling and ha laughing. I can walk up and go, pew, 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 shoot yeah, him in the back yeah. of the head as long as his family didn't know, put him in the car, like, you know. Yeah, it's hard. It's he hard. wouldn't feel a thing, dude. The problem, that's the problem. Is that good? <laughs> what do you think we're asking people to do today? Awareness. Make create awareness. What do you think we're asking for people to do with that awareness? What can you do about this, you think? When you have the choice, 
<laughs> my research to see what's up. Yeah, and then what can you do with that, that information, like in your own life? I wouldn't do it a lot because I knew this was going on. Yeah. We don't even really eat much meat, to be honest, do we? So it must be easier for you to change then? Yeah. So that's, this is where, no, this is, no, this is where... You don't eat much already, you can just kick that, eh? <laughs> Tell you what I do. For nearly 10 years I've been a vegan and I've been telling people about this to help other people stop eating it. So that we create a change in the business through supply and demand. You can have personal power in your own life and you don't have to cause this to happen. You can be one person that says, I'm not gonna cause this to happen. I can't control everyone else, but I'm not gonna participate in this because it's wrong. Were you a vegan from the start or after you were of I, I become aware and then I became vegan because I didn't want to contribute to the industries that do this to animals, no matter their species. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If they're a sea animal, or if they're a bird, or if they're a lamb, or if they're a pig, they all have their own subjective experience. I thought it's wrong for me to get some pleasure out of their, them being exploited and killed. Yeah, absolutely. If I don't need to, yeah. If you as a family had, had to see the cow here, and the cow was like playing with a kid or whatever, like walking up when I was 11, yeah. and I said, okay, now I'm going to shoot this cow in the head, cut their head off, cut their stomach out. People are blind to the fact of the process that it takes to get there. All right, how about I put a wall here, and I'll say I'm going to do it behind the wall and you can no, just hear it. No, it's like you say, it's not okay, like... so further disconnect. When I say people are blind to the process, yeah. they don't want to know what happens. Yeah. They're just happy to see it on their yeah. plate at the end of the day, really. Yeah. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with... Slaughter? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, but what can you do to change it? I don't know. You could be a vegan. We kill more animals in four weeks than the number of human beings that have ever existed in, yeah. in the history of Earth ever. Yeah. Only 100 pe billion people have ever lived. We kill more than that in four weeks. And you, you kill probably around, responsible for about 200 animal deaths a year, killing a year. Okay. Unjustifiable killing. So every year, you're 100, hundreds of animals are being killed for you just by what you consume. So if you go vegan, that's 200 murders stopped. That's if you see animals as worthwhile beings. Animals are nice. Yeah, they don't deserve this. Because we're talking about for a sandwich. We're not talking about, oh, we have to kill them to survive. We're, we're going to die if we don't, like... I don't know how people think about... People don't think about it. People don't think about it because they don't see it. A lot of people that care are shocked. Some people just walk past, they don't care. But we want to find the people that do care and ask them to stop contributing to it, be vegan and live in alignment with their values and then ask others to do the same so we can create a uh, change. I just think they need to change the way that they inform people because they do, but you, already, you, can be, you can be informed. There's a lot of bullshit around. There's a lot of propaganda around. The news tells us bullshit. But you have to have your own beliefs. Yes. And if you think like slaughtering animals is wrong, then you can find ways around avoiding that from happening. That's I, all. I, I don't think See, it's that, right. See, that's the problem. We don't avoid it happening. In your life, though, like, because like, you can't stop like people from doing bad things. No, and I don't say, well, people aren't going to change, so I'm going to go do some bad things yeah. right now. Because yeah. it's about morality, is about your contribution yeah. to something. The problem is, it's like a double edged sword, and it? The mass production, I believe is wrong but if I had my own land and stuff I would have my own animals. And would you shoot them in the head? But that's the problem isn't it? It's like a double-edged sword. Do you, would you shoot them in the head? If I had to survive yeah but, but it's, it's, not, you don't have to survive. Yeah, that's, access, that's, the pro got... that's the problem in this day and age we don't need that. Okay so then why, why would you do it then? That's what I'm saying if we had to. If, 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 we, if we were in that position. No, no, if we were in that position. You had to feed your family and you were going yeah. to die or something. Yeah. Oh, man I'd do some, I'd do some gangster shit. If I had to do, you know, of course, you just go, you switch, turn into a soldier or something, you know what I mean? Well, the and problem so... these days is, is everybody's catered for. And yeah, nobody exactly. wants so to we've do got freedom anything. of choice now. That's even better. Yeah. So we've got less excuses now. Be vegan, bro. That's the best way to stop this and tell about other people about it. And then you can make other impacts through other people as well. And if we all did that, they, they, these places shut down. Yeah. They only operate because of us. It's a supply and demand system. So you can put your money into plant-based food. They're not always perfect, but they're a million times better than this. And that's the best option we have. If there's a better option than plant-based food, then we go for that. But right now, it's accessible, plant-based food, plant-based burgers, vegan meats, vegan this, vegan that. Every single fast food place you can get something. When you're in uh, Tesco's, here and there, you can get everything. Millions of times better than this. You got no right to do that. They've got legal right to do it, but we're asking for actual rights to protect animals from this. But, you know, whilst people are paying for it, really, it's nothing's going to change. Yeah, that's right. So when you leave here today, you have choices to make. You can either make a vegan choice where you know animals are not being exploited and killed, or you can make non-vegan choice, which can guarantee something like this is happening.
from. I definitely so. think all this should be scaled back on. There shouldn't be having hundreds of thousands of animals slaughtered each year just to feed them. We can only scale it back if we scale back the demand, and we can only do that if people stop making up the demand. Yeah. So. Tim, I'll ask you this question. Can you love animals while you eat them? Same time. Loving, eating. Do you think those two things contradict? I think yes. You can't love people and eat people, can you? Uh, Maybe you love some people, eat others, but you don't love people as a whole. I've only got a couple of these, but I thought because you seem like you really want to... It's just Absolutely. free help. This is just uh, some where to shop. Happy Cow, find vegan restaurants, really good app, anywhere you are. You should use an app called Happy Cow. Oh, okay. Happy Cow. Yeah. It's a really good app and you can find vegan options everywhere. Wherever you are, right here in Birmingham. Sure. <laughs> Simple. That's it. You shouldn't eat it. shouldn't eat it. That's it. Yeah, it's so your... Do you know what I heard uh, in America? There's a Jew. There's a sign saying, the worst animal you can imagine in this whole world. It's a mirror. What? It's a mirror, because it's human it's beings. It. Exactly. I hope that I totally understand. Yeah. And the biggest enemy is apathy. People not caring. It's an enemy to the animals because they're not going to change and they just walk past and without a care. It's the people that do care that we need to help make the change. Yeah.